Hello. Happy Wednesday. What's up, y'all? I'm sorry. Oh, let me turn the light on. I got a hat on because y'all see this hair done came down. Y'all see this hair done. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's three things, three things today. Happy Wednesday. I hope y'all are doing good. I hope y'all are doing good. I have recovered. I have recovered from bearing it all on last Wednesday. And um, it's it's been good work out here. So let me tag some of you guys in. And whoever's able to jump in with us is able to jump in with us. Um, I'm... I will say this while I'm while I'm doing this. I'm very appreciative of um, the ladies who are already in and connecting with um the Grace for this page like like for sure for sure. I'm um I'm glad for the opportunity. All right. I'm in a different location, y'all. I'm trying to work on what's going to be the best the best spot for me to be in. So, y'all are um Y'all will see me working and playing around with a couple of things. But I know my computer did not just die. Really? Really? They trying to make me? Hold on. <sighs> Let me think about it. Okay, we straight. Greetings and salutations. Happy Wednesday. I had to I had to gather my thoughts because I don't have my notes. My laptop just died. I have been on it all morning, so it can do that. What's up, y'all? Kanish Moselle here. This is the grace for this page. We are 100% about creating community, um, having conversations, and doing collaborations amongst a community, uh, a community of women who are like-minded, women of faith, who are taking ownership of their wellness journey personally, relationally, <laughs> and professionally. Hello. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to move a little bit closer to my light because I'm trying to be right. And clearly, I'll cut all of that. I'll cut all of that off. We'll be all right today. We're going to rock with it. We're going to rock with it. We're going to rock with it. So, yeah. I'm going to start over. I'm going to say that again so I can snip this on the video later. So, yeah, this is Grace for This. This is a community. This is our page. And we're 100% 100 about creating community for um, like-minded. Like -minded. Hey, sis. Um, for women of faith who are taking ownership of their wellness journey personally, relationally, and professionally. And I simply say that because our own wellness journey is going to directly reflect how well we flourish and prosper in other spaces and regardless of where we are in life professionally family how you relate to other people is going to be based on how you feel about yourself and then of course how we show up in our work is going to be important and it's based off of how we feel about ourselves and our value and what we have to bring to the table is my signal good lanika um because it's telling me I got a poor signal. But if I'm freezing up or something, let me know. I'll just go back to my office. Um, okay, bet. You see, I, I, I'm switching up my background and everything. But my little power and everything went out. So my light ain't on and <laughs> all of the things. But I'm, I'm working it. So um, what's up, y'all? I just, I just want to say thank y'all um, who rocked with us last week for three things. Um, that was some work. That was some work. But one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to be honest. Because we cannot heal we cannot heal when we show up fraudulent. So we're going to have to be honest. Praise God. Yeah, um, we got to be honest with ourselves. And um, honesty in community is important. And one thing I'm, I'm very clear on is that we are not experiencing things like an island. There is always somebody else who can relate to the thing that you're going to. We can always um, bring perspective to the table. Like somebody may not know your exact story, but I guarantee you they can bring some perspective to the table. Yeah, 100%. So um, what's, what's our three things for today? Um, I can't read it from my notes, but it's in my heart. So it's going to come out. I don't know if it's going to sound as pretty as it normally does, but three things that we're going to talk about today is um, 
um, validation. Three things for you to expect. You're going to expect, expect to have validation. Not that you need it to be who you are, but we need validation in our human experience. So one is going to be validation. Uh, two is going to be love. And then three is going to be perspective. Validation, love, and perspective. Three things that you can expect inside of inside of a, or inside of our community is validation. I am learning and I and I and I, some of this carries over from my nursing career and experience, but they taught us that their perspective is their reality. Your patient's perspective is their reality. And if I am a woman and I've had a, a unique experience and I bring my experience to to a conversation at a table, we don't ever need somebody to make us feel like what we experienced was not real. If that was how I perceived it, it's 115% very much real. And we don't always get the opportunity to feel legitimized in our dialogue. Say it like that. Especially as people of color, we have been treated in such a way that our stories or our perspective or the injustice that we have suffered um, is not as big as it is. That's gaslighting. <laughs> But it is very much real. Um, what's up, Leah? Hey, y'all. Sisters in the building. So what we are going to make sure that we do inside of the Grace for This community is give room for each other to speak. And then absolutely uh, validate the uniqueness of that experience for that individual sister. We're not here to say that's not what happened. Never will we. All my big energy. Mm -mm. We are not taking away or or telling somebody that their experience is not something. We don't have the privilege of having been in that person's shoes to tell somebody else what their experience is not. Okay, so there is set there is safety and there is going to be validation in what we're doing with each other. Um, because if that's how they see, if that's how they see it, if that's how they felt it, then that's what it was. And guess what? Our emotions and our body, um, um, sometimes psychosomatic responses that we go through in our body respond based on how it's perceived to us. So if it came across as trauma, if it came across as scary or hurtful or sad, if that person remembers that thing, it's going to bring back those same emotions. So we have to honor and validate people's experiences for what they have perceived it to be because their person can re-experience. Apologies. Had a call come through. Um, turn my notifications off. Okay, are we back? Are we good? <laughs> I had a phone call that came through. Um, I just put it on do not start. So, yeah. So, validation. Validation. Y'all give me some hearts and let me know we back good. Um, paramount. Okay. It is paramount. If you're in a tough place or you're feeling a certain way, you don't want anybody to come up to you and say, oh, well, nah, that ain't this and this and that and that. It was this one, two, and three. Don't disrespect my experience by telling me what my experience was not. If you had a different experience in the same place, it doesn't make mine null and void. It makes ours different. And we experience the same space based on our past experiences. So, you know, we're going we gonna to validate what people have to say, what they actually heard. What In Toastmasters, we say, I'm going to tell you what I saw, what I heard, and what I felt. We need to give people room to, to share with us what they saw, what they heard, and what they felt. And then you work from there. If you can't, if we can't, if we can't do that, we will make no progress. Okay. So that's the first thing, the validation piece. So the second thing is just love, genuine love and care, agape love, some unconditional love. Woo, child, I feel my brain going two different pivots, but I'm, I'm trying to keep it in the center. So love heals. It's one of many things that heals. But when you come into a loving environment, um, um, into a space that exudes love, um, 
regardless of of backgrounds or conditions or experiences or faults. Because we're not going to be without fault. We're not going to intentionally do things that are hurtful or harmful, but we are not going to be without fault. That is a part of our human experience. But we have to love. We have to love. After we have seen, we have heard, we have felt what our sister has said in the space, we need to love them in that moment the way they need to be loved. We need to support them in that moment the way they need to be supported. And I'm not saying that you don't, I'm not saying that you avoid the hard things, not at all. But in the moment, what is what is the thing that that is either fight or flight? You know, we don't want to create an environment where people where people have to figure out a way of escape. We want people to come in and actually be able to sit there and rest and recuperate from the validated experience that they have had. Like it's the beginning of a process. It's a beginning. And so after you start, you got to cover that thing in love. We've got to genuinely care about who's in the space next to us. And I 115%, 115 my number there, y'all. I think I use it all, but y'all know what I'm saying. Uh, I feel like we do that already. <laughs> I definitely feel like, like I know I get on the phone with Nika. I know I get on the line with, with Leah. I know I get on the phone with uh, Jamika, Lanisha. I got so many sisters um, who I know I can drop on the line with and we can have a beautiful, wonderful, safe, vulnerable conversation and... What I'm saying is going to be heard and it's going to be covered with love. That's the game changer. Lanika said it's key. Both of y'all said it's key. That's the game changer. It's covering, covering, covering each other with just an unconditional type of love. And I'm talking about it can be wrong as the day is long. Let me love you in this moment because it's still hard. Even if it's the person who wrong. Even if the per- if the person who is in that moment is the person who has who has made the error. Let me love you in this moment. Because when you get the truth, I need you to be able to digest it. Yeah, but the you who is the one who committed the offense needs some love, needs some tending to, needs some care. Because we are susceptible to doing or being certain things in the first place because of other things that have happened that push us to show up a different way. We are all processing and building on a different part of us at the same time. So we always are working on something. I might be bomb over here, but I need a whole lot of work in this other area. It doesn't negate what I do really, really well. But the awareness of the other thing reminds us that everybody out here, human poo, ain't nobody out here, Jesus to Christ. And even Jesus made sure to, to, to show us the human moments throughout scripture. Who did I talk to with about that? I just had a conversation. <laughs> it's coming. Me and Monica Michelle had a conversation. The love. That agape, that unconditional love is key. It is a game changer. It is the support that we need and that we are going to provide in our space. Right? So the second thing is love, baby. Support, boo. Agape, friend. (laughs) All of that. All of that. Hey, we all human out here. Don't get it twisted. And we all need love. We all need support. Y'all know about the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The belonging and and the support and the love. We need all that. We need all of that. And it goes higher up. It goes higher up on the um on the pyramid. Yeah, it's important. It's important. So we got the first two down now. Y'all know this is three things. We always come in with these three points, right? So the third thing is perspective. I love perspective. I shared something earlier this week about perspective. And I talked a lot about perspective last week, honestly. But perspective is is such a game changer. Like, because let's compare, let's let's put perspective on top of um the first two points, right? So I had an experience. This is what it was. It affected me this particular way. I need this kind of support right now after having this experience. Can you sit with me a hundred percent? I don't know why this happened to me. Well, let's consider these things. Let's look at, you know, it from, from this perspective, you know, well, that was a hard experience and it made you feel one, two, three. However, you're prepared for this. You're stronger in this area and you can share it with somebody else. Like perspective is everything, you know, I'm so, 
I'm so grateful that, um, for example, mom got hit by a car last week. Was it last week? Yeah. A week ago today. Yes. Because I went home, went to the movies and left the movies and came to Augusta pretty much. Took a nap and then came to Augusta. So, um, perspective. Oh my God. I can't let, I can't believe the, 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 that my mama got hit by a car. It's the worst thing that could ever happen. How big of a testimony is it going to be that pedestrians who got hit by a car are ambul ambulatory? Who would they ambulating around now? On, on my mom, on Facebook Live, with both your eyes black, but you talking that you sharing the testimony. Perspective. It's the perspective thing. So we will have had some tough experiences and we will need and give support. And then after you have moved from the place where it's fresh and it's hurtful, then you begin to have a shift in perspective. And sometimes we have to help each other consider things from a different perspective. And sometimes we arrive to it on our own. But perspective is, is valuable because it allows you to make purpose out of your experience. When you look at it from a different angle, you see takeaways. You see things that strengthen you. You see... um what didn't happen you see the other scenario that would have been a worse scenario but god we still have to be careful with the delivery of perspective here go your plot twist because if you start giving perspective during the time that needs validation we're not talking no more because we don't need perspective right now we don't need a solution right now. We need to be heard. What I see, what I heard, what I feel. So I think this sequence is everything. And I don't I don't know if I thought about it this in depth when I wrote it out. But the Lord is good because it is in the exact order <laughs> that it needs to happen in. Glory to God. Um thank you, Leah, for for writing it in. The locked Linda. You see this here, right? Y'all see this here, right? Mm -hmm. No judgment. This is a safe place. <laughs> right? So, validation, love, and then perspective is very important. Because if we don't consider other perspectives, we can get stuck in the validation of that experience. And it can turn into bitterness. It can turn into anger. Because we are only focusing on one perspective. In order for us to grow and heal and maximize on the experiences that we have, we need to have a shift in our perspective at some point in time. We've got to have that shift in that perspective. Now, granted, everybody can move through these three things at their own individual pace, but Three things to expect inside of um, Grace for This, whether it's a live, whether it is um, a face-to-face -face event, which we're doing at the end of the month. Ooh, um, whether it's, what I said, conversation, a live, whatever. You know, I want to do a book club. I have books from amazing women who I've met over the last year, authors. I got a stack of books. I'm getting them together. I'm getting them organized. They all up there on my ottoman right now, laid out. I might post a picture later. Um but all of those things are are working together. And if we do it well, if we do it intentionally, and if we do it in sequence, I think it's going to render some really, really great results. Because our goal is for us as women of faith to take ownership of our wellness journey personally, relationally, and professionally. Because guess what? Part of this pain that you have been through has pointed you in the direction of another part of your purpose that is being revealed and God is going to do something. And that, that's your business. Not your job. That's your business. That would be the work of your hands. What is God going to build? What is he going to um, cause to grow and thrive in you as a result of your journey that's going to be beneficial and life-giving to somebody else? And I, I, I feel like that's the, the most important thing is for us to move through our journey um, in such a way that <laughs> in such a way that we can present our story and other people be strengthened to 
make it through what their journey is. It's always somebody coming up behind us. And it's always somebody who we're going to be following. We might as well not feel any way about it. Respect where you are in your journey. Valid feelings to have, like you're following behind or chasing something. But we're going to always be in the middle of the sandwich, some kind of which way. So, y'all, that's our three things. Oh, it's 1222. Um, 1222. That was our three things for today. Three things to expect inside of Grace for This. You can expect validation for your experience being what it was based on how you saw it and experienced. You can expect love and support in that moment that acknowledges and supports you where you are. And then lastly, you can expect for for us to to share and encourage you with multiple perspectives so that your takeaway in the hard parts of your journey produce something that is life and health for somebody else. So what I want to say to us is um, life can be hard and our journey can hurt, but commit to heal so your story can help. I love y'all big. Thank y'all for jumping on with me. Three things. Y'all share it with somebody. Let somebody know if you're rocking with it. And remember, we have the event. We've got a networking event because I tell y'all we are building things. The work of our hands is apparent. So we're going to get to be in the same space. We're going to have some conversations. And I got a special guest who's going to be on the sofa with me next weekend. So yeah, next weekend. So y'all let me know. Um, link in the box. Link in the bio, register, get in the room. I love y'all big. Peace out.